Hello guys and welcome to Master Coding Channel. My name is Abbas and I will teach you how to make an app that works with a lifecycle aware, which is an architecture component introduced in the Android Jetpack. So let's move in and make this amazing app. But before we start, if this is your first time here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or hit and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Please like the video and comment below so you keep us making uh, new tutorials and push us forward. Let's move and make this amazing app. We start by making an Android Studio new project, empty activity, and I will rename the application as Life Cycle Aware. Now, hit finish and let the Android Studio configure the application. Okay, waiting the, the Android. And let's move to the Gradle and add our dependency. So if you miss any step, please, you can go back to the latest video and see the steps that we are uh, uh, doing in this video. Uh, we will define a life cycle uh, version, which is 1.1.1, as I told you in the previously uh, created uh, application uh, video. And we are going to manipulate the lifecycle version is 2.2.0. And the implementation, implementation here, why we are doing, uh, we're having an error. Oh, okay, because I'm using double uh, quotation, I think, or oh, lifecycle without, okay. The life cycle only without view model or live data. The life cycle version is having this version 2.2.0, not 1.1 uh, because uh, they are, they will be different. And annotation process, annotate the processor by using implement annotation processor. And we will see how this will be successful in one second. Okay, let's move to the main activity. Now, we are going to create the life cycle aware components as I told you in the previously created video. So go and make a new Java class called main activity observer okay we are going to observe the life cycle uh, and manage the life cycle of the activity by using this main activity observer class i will implement since i uh, use uh, implemented the the art component i can use now the implementation of the life cycle observer class which is included on um, uh, or inside the package of architecture component. I will specify the on life cycle event and on life cycle event, life cycle dot event, and I will specify the which event I am going to to use. So I'm telling here that hey. I am now in the event of on create. So when I use the initiate uh, uh, method, I am using or I am doing here the code that or executing the code uh, that I I need to the app uh, to be executed when the on create method is called. So remember, if you uh, if you see the video about life cycle, we have on create method and on we can implement them. But in this way, we can we we are uh, we have the advantage of making these uh, these methods are executed automatically when the on create 
uh, event is called or in, uh, is introduced. So I'm going to say that uh, we need to log the activities, that we need to log the events. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not making a complex app. I'm just making uh, an app that you can understand the concept of the uh, lifecycle aware. So uh, what, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just saying that uh, I need to make a tag or a log tag that the onCreate method is called when the application is onCreate. In the same way, I am uh, going to copy and paste and lifecycle event on pause. So, okay. So, I'm telling the pause uh, event, hey, whenever the pause activity or event, sorry, the, the event uh, on pause is executed, go and uh, make a log cat uh, created on, uh, on pause activity or on pause method is called. In this way, we are telling that the, uh, we, uh, the Android Studio that these methods should be executed, initiate or uh, pause in the exact events. The exact events. So, the life cycle event on, resu on resume. And I will change this in pause. And I will change this into on resume. And I will change this into resume method. So I can now check that the main activity observer is working fine. I just want the last step to make a configuration and link or connect the main activity observer with the main activity. So in order to do that, I am going to create these codes. Connecting the observer and let's say like get lifecycle dot add observer and the new main activity observer class. Okay. In this way we have connected the observer with the main activity. Now what we need is to run the app to run the app and see the log cat okay run and the log cat i will uh, put the taggy because we have the tag okay here we go amazing the android studio is telling us that the onCreate method is called and onResume method is called. So I'm just saying that the, these events are uh, executed uh, and working fine with the lifecycle aware application. So let's see how to rotate. Uh, okay, on pause when you exit the application and onResume is called, then in pause and everything is working fine. The lifecycle aware application is working perfectly using the Android architecture component, which is the live data aware or lifecycle aware. Uh, and it is very important for the developers and in your stages in the next stages to be to understand this concept to uh, to make a professional application. Thank you, guys. I hope from my heart, you subscribe, you like, you comment to just make us um, such a motivated and I love you guys. Thank you. See you next videos.